ಪತಿಣಿಭ್ಯೋ ವೈಷ್ಣವಿಭ್ಯೋ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ಜೈ ಶ್ರೀ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ಶ್ರೀಯತ್ವೈತ ಗದಾರ ಶ್ರೀವಾಸಿ ಗೌರವಕ್ತ ವೃಂದ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ವಿಷ್ಣು ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ಹರೇ Hare Krishna. Thank you very much, Shashwin, for the wonderful recital of the verses. And <clears throat> thank you, Avinash Prabhuji, for reading the perfect. Hare Krishna, Prabhuji, Dhanavad Pranam. Please accept our humble obeisances on behalf of everybody who have joined the group and are about to join. Prabhuji, we feel we are in Golok Vrindavan. Your background is so beautiful. <laughs> thank you for giving your time. and all your efforts prabhuji so uh, we are reading the shrimad bhagavatam we are on canto 1 chapter 10 and the text for today is 21 and i hand over to you prabhuji hari krishna thank you mataji thank you for your uh, uh, <coughs> i mean for me to uh, giving giving the opportunity to to me to speak about shrimad bhagavatam <coughs> so uh, we are reading the shrimad bhagavatam canto 1 chapter 10 and text 21 uh, translation again they said here he is the original personality of godhead as we definitely remember him he alone existed before the manifested creation of the modes of nature and in him only be- because he is the super soul all living beings merge as if sleeping at night their energy suspended so uh, this is a uh, these are the prayers by the by the kuru ladies you know the, the ladies are uh, standing on the roofs uh, watching krishna go to uh, dwaraka and then they don't want to leave him so he's uh, uh, they're quite affected so somebody uh, leaving them you know uh, going away from uh, i mean when when we also feel that whenever uh, our near and dear ones are going away from us how how do we feel so that much intense uh, uh, you know feelings were there to krishna but uh, they are also not only emotionally attached but they are also you know quite uh, knowledgeable as uh, propad explains in the purport they are quite knowledgeable they they uh, you know the knowledge is uh, not not just uh, sentimental the knowledge is prove i mean it's it's like uh, they are they've studied the shastras so propad uh, is explaining here the dissolution uh, dissolution means uh, you know we all know that it's pralaya so pralaya has uh, two types one is the the mini pralaya what we can call and the the total uh, dissolution so the 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 mini pralaya happens uh, once in a day of brahma so uh, we all know that uh, in the shrimad i mean bhagavad gita the, it is a shloka is there uh, brahma leaves up for thousand cycles of mahayugas so one mahayuga is uh, 4 billion 320 million years that means uh, kaliyuga it is said that we have 432000 years if you multiply that by 2 you will get dwapara yuga if you multiply that by 3 you will get treta yuga if you multiply that by 4 you will get satya yuga so all put together if you put all put all, all all of them together you get this number so this is the the number of years solar years this is the number of years brahma leaves that is is 12 12 hours so similarly there is he also sleeps every day like us 
So he sleeps, sleeps for 12 hours. And then in those 12 hours, there is annihilation up to, up to certain locus. So there is partial annihilation. And then certain locus are submerged in water and certain locus are not submerged in water. So uh, then when Brahma, the Lord of one particular universe, goes to sleep, there is one annihilation. And at the end of Brahma's life, which takes place at the Brahma's 100 years of age. So such, uh, you know, what we calculated astronomical figures, you know, even uh, we, are, we are struggling to uh, find correct numbers of calculations that how many years corresponding to the human calculation. So that many years is, is 100 years. So in after the 100 years, there is complete annihilation of the entire universe. And in both periods, both the material energy called the Mahat Tattva and the marginal energy called the Jiva Tattva merge in, per, in, the, in the person of the Supreme Lord. The living beings remain asleep when the body of the Lord until within the body of the Lord until there is another creation of the material world. And that is the way of creation, maintenance and annihilation. Uh, does anyone remember uh, what are the types of uh, Vishnu's uh, which we discussed in the in the, in the previous uh, classes. Maribo. Yes, yes, Prabhu. Yeah, so we have uh, Mahavishnu. Uh, yes, Prabhu. Then we have uh, uh, Garba Dakshaya Vishnu. Yes, yes. Uh, then uh, Shiro Dakshaya Vishnu. Yes, Haribo. Uh, those are three. Haribo. Yes, 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 Prabhu. Thank you. Uh, these these are the three types of Vishnus who are coming is, is uh, if we further discuss in the in the in the purport that these are the portion of Lord Krishna. So these three these three Vishnus, Mahavishnu Mahavishnu lies on the causal ocean, uh, uh, just and then he breathes in and breathes out. So when he breathes in, the all the universes go in, into him. And then when he breathes out, millions and millions of universes comes out. So this is Mahavishnu. So in each uh, universe, Garbhodakashai Vishnu enters. So when he enters, then there is, uh, he lies on the, he lies on the causal ocean and uh, there is lotus flower from his navel. Then the lotus flower arises from his navel. And then on this lotus flower, there is Brahma sitting on the top of the lotus flower. And then when he meditates, he creates the 14 planetary systems. And Vishnu takes another form of Shirodakashai Vishnu. Shirodakashai Vishnu is a Paramatma. He enters each and every atom of the universe to start the, the, the movement. So this is how, in brief, uh, how the creation happens. But... Annihilation also happens in time, time to time, and uh, we, the 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 living entities, along with the Mahatattva, go into the body of Mahavishnu. So, <clears throat> when 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 uh, all the jivas go into the body of Mahavishnu, it's not that uh, we merge into the Mahavishnu. It's the individual identity is still uh, there, but. Uh, until the time that is the God, I mean, Supreme Lord's will is there, that we stay there in, in the body of Mahavishnu. And then when the Supreme Lord's will is there to create, and then the, the creation happens, and then we all come out, and then uh, we take, I mean, the journey continues as, as if like uh, we're sleeping in the night, and then in the morning, we get up, and then we continue our journey. So this is uh, uh, beautifully explained by Prabhupada that uh, whenever we sleep, uh, we, we forget. We forget wh whom we are. And then uh, when we get up, suddenly we know what, what we have to do. Uh, similar example also can be given that uh, uh, when we die, we go to another womb, mother's womb. But uh, you know, we, we, forget, uh, we forget all the relations of this uh, current, uh, current life. We, we have different mother, different father, different uh, you know, uh, wife, uh, children, uh, husband, 
uh, our friends, everybody. But when we leave this uh, material world, when we, when we leave this body, we take up another body, we just, we have to start fresh. So what, what, is, what is carried, what we are carrying to the another uh, womb is our uh, mind intelligence, the subtle body. The subtle body is taken to another home and then we continue from the, from the journey. Also scientists have studied that uh, who study this, uh, you know, past life regression and uh, who study uh, how, uh, you know, in the past life, similar habits, you know, like a painter, he continues to paint, you know, if he has an interest in painting, so he, in his next life also, his, uh, uh, his tendencies are there. Just like there is, uh, there is one, um, uh, one scientist in, uh, in Bangalore, uh, there is a neurological institute called, it's a national institute for mental health called NIMHANS. So she studies, uh, you know, in particular past life regression. So when she found out that uh, one uh, small boy and then not connected to, uh, you know, Hindu culture or, uh, you know, any, uh, any relation to uh, Bhagavad Gita. So suddenly starts uh, telling Bhagavad Gita slopas or verses, reciting verses. So how, how this happens, you know, it's, it's, uh, it's sometimes, I mean, cannot be explained by science. But, uh, uh, you know, this, this proves that uh, there is a previous birth, there is life after death. And then we are all continuing on a journey. And then that journey is, uh, you know, going on and on and on. But, uh, you know, uh, when, we, when we get this knowledge, when we get this knowledge from the uh, superiors, uh, we, we can break this, we can break this journey and then uh, go to, go back to home, back to Godhead. So this Mahavishnu is the plenary portion of Lord Krishna, who is mentioned in the Brahma Samhita 5.48 as follows. So let me offer my respectful obeisances unto the person, original personality of Godhead, Govinda, whose plenary portion is the Mahavishnu. All the Brahmanas, the heads of the universe, all the Brahmas, all the, the heads of the universes live only for the period of his exhaling after the universes are generated from the pores of his transcendental body. So this uh, we, can, we can remember one past time that uh, how Brahmas are so insignificant in, uh, in, uh, I mean, in relation to uh, Vishnu. Uh, we can all remember one past time, Brahma Vimohana Leela. So in Brahma Vimohana Leela, what happens is uh, Brahma comes and sees, and then uh, uh, he sees Krishna as a cowherd boy, and then he's just, uh, you know, uh, playing some pastimes, and then, you know, he's just a cowherd boy, and then he cannot believe, you know, he's, he's also, you know, uh, mesmerized, and then he's also into sort of Maya, that, you know, how can this, you know, this boy can be uh, uh, my Lord. My Lord is, you know, much, much greater than him. He's just playing some simple things, you know, he cannot be, cannot be Lord. So what he does is, uh, you know, he takes, uh, he takes all the cowherd boys, all the cows, and then he uh, goes and, uh, uh, you know, uh, hides them, hides them in the, in the Brahmaloka. So uh, what Krishna does is he expands, he expands as each of his friend, each of his cows, and nothing changes. And when, when, Brahma, when Brahma returns there uh, to see what is happening, how his, uh, his illusion is working on Krishna, but nothing, has, nothing had happened. You know? uh, Krishna was the same and then his cowherd boys and uh, in, in cows and everything was same. And even, uh, even the gopis uh, you know, were experiencing extreme love with their own children because it was none other than Krishna. Krishna had expanded the... Uh, as uh, as the cowherd boys and and cows and everything, so everything was as it is. So uh, Brahma realizes his mistake and then uh, he he falls at the feet of Krishna. And at the time, what Krishna does, you know, Brahma cannot believe. Uh, Krishna calls all the Brahmas to assemble. So it will be like a multi-dimensional uh, brahmas uh, with uh, you know with four heads with eight heads with 16 heads with the 32 heads with so many heads uh, they are coming and paying obeisances to krishna 
we can he he thought that he is the only brahma and he is the only creator he is the this is the only universe so uh, he he sees the the millions and millions of brahmas coming and paying an obeisance to krishna he just he just falls at his feet and then that's when he he forms i mean he starts praying him uh, uh, as brahma samhita so that is that is what uh, chaitan mahaprabhu has given us a glorious wonderful gift uh, which he went to the the south of india and then uh, uh, you know uh, it was lost it was lost and then chaitanya mahaprabhu brought it back and then we all we all can recite especially when we are doing uh, janmashtami uh, abhishek and then uh, different uh, you know festivals when we do the abhishek we uh, we do the ishwar we, we, we do the prayers ishwara parama krishna sachidananda vigraha anadi radir govinda sarva karana karanam so so this like this uh, uh, all the all the verses are uh, you know uh, prayed and then this this is uh, sung by lord brahma so there are there are many verses there are many beautiful verses to remember uh, in the brahma samhita like uh, chinta mani prakara sadmashu kalpa vriksha lakshavruteshu surabhi avipalayantam lakshmi sahasra shat samrama sevya manam govinda madi purusham tamaham bajami so uh, it's explained in this verse that krishna's abode is not made of uh, like bricks or even uh, you know any jewels it is made of chintamani touchstone so touchstone everyone has know that touchstone is uh, is like if you touch that touchstone to anything it can turn into gold so chintamani kalpa vriksha and then there are kalpa vrikshas so we all know that what is kalpa vriksha kalpa vriksha is you can ask uh, anything from the kalpa vriksha it can even uh, trees of this world can give uh, only one type of fruit coconut can give coconut fruit mango can give mango fruit and banana can give banana fruit but uh, kalpa vriksha can give anything you want you, if you want puri halwa you can give it can give us puri halwa so if uh, if you want uh, pulao it can give pulao so this is uh, kalpa vriksha and then uh, there are surabhi cows there are surabhi cows in 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 the goloka vrindavana which give unlimited unlimited amount of milk so even when uh, krishna was there on the earthly planet in vrindavan buloka vrindavan uh, the cows were overflowing with milk you know the milk was automatically no one no, i mean no need to uh, take the milk from the from the cows it was it was oozing out because they were all feeling very safe and they were they were all being loved by krishna they were all being loved by cowherd boys there was no anxiety because nowadays you know cows if you if you see they are all in anxiety when i'll be attacked when i'll be taken to the slaughter house when mm-hmm. my number will come next because you know we feel that you know uh, uh, as human beings that animals don't have emotions animals don't have uh, uh, you know feelings but they all have feelings you know the, the feelings are there uh, uh, the emotions are there but uh, you know we 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 as human beings have uh, you know uh we have created a civilization that uh, only human beings has feelings so every every uh, living entity has feelings but okay uh, according to its consciousness levels it, it is feelings are different actually i would like to narrate another example of uh, one uh, hunter called murgari so uh, this hunter uh, i'm sure you would you might have heard this story uh, this murgari uh, was was living hunting the animals and then uh, killing the animals and then leaving the animals half dead but uh, you know when narada muni was passing there and then he saw that uh, somebody had killed the animals and then it was half dead and it was so much in suffering and then he asked who is who is causing this and then this uh, murgari came out and he asked him why are you doing this you know if you want to kill just kill it completely you know otherwise there is so much suffering uh, but uh, he was he said no this is my living this is the the uh, the work that i know from beginning and that this is the work i am i'm doing my living and then i'm maintaining my family 
so no you know it, don't you know that these are very sinful activities and then you you ought to you have to go to hell and then you are answerable for this and you have to take millions of births to uh, repay this uh, you know suffering but uh, you know he didn't know but he believed narada muni and then he uh, and then he surrendered to him but he asked him what 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 i what i will do because what i will do for the living but he said don't worry you no know, don't worry krishna is there to arrange everything so just surrender surrender to krishna and then distribute all your wealth and then go and sit under a tree and then chant the hare krishna maha mantra so he'll be doing that and then automatically this news of uh, mrugari the 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 hunter becoming devotee spread across the villages and then you know in india uh, people used to respect sadhus and uh, babas and uh, you know all the saintly persons so it news spread and then there's so much food it came so much of food came that he couldn't handle and he said you know this is not this is too much for me for a single person so he started giving just charity and then he kept whatever he wanted then uh, one day uh, after some time uh, narada muni wanted to check how his disciple is doing he came back with uh, parvata muni one of his friends then he was he was jumping he was jumping to come and pay obeisances then uh, they they saw that uh, okay you are paying obeisances but uh, why are you jumping but he said there are there are some ants on the, on the on the path so i i might kill that and then i might hurt that so imagine the the person who was uh, killing the animals and leaving them half dead and then he couldn't he was uh, he was giving so much suffering and now after becoming a vaishnava he was not even ready to kill a ant which was which was on the ground so he was jumping and coming making sure that he is not stepping on the ant so such is the the power of uh, krishna consciousness so continuing thus lord govinda or lord krishna is the cause of cause of mahavishnu also the lady is talking about this vedic truth must have heard it from authoritative sources an authoritative source is the only means to know about transcendental subject matter definitely there is no alternative so uh, prabhupad says here that uh, the knowledge what what uh, the the ladies were talking were were not just uh, you know a mental speculations or you know emotional or you know they, they were uh, they were speaking truth and then they had heard it from the superiors from the authority to sources and uh, it was it was not just a just a sentimental knowledge the merging of the living being into the body of mahavishnu takes place automatically at the end of brahma's 100 years but that does not mean that individual living being loses his identity the identity is there and as soon as there is another creation by the supreme will of the lord all the sleeping inactive living beings are again let loose to begin their activities in the continuation of past different spheres of life so we we just we just if if we don't finish our journey and then if we don't go back to home back to god it we just have to be in the cycle of birth and death and then whenever the the annihilation is there so we go into the body of mahavishnu and then we come out we go into the body of mahavishnu and come out so this uh, this cycle will continue it is called supto tita nyaya or awakening from the sleep and again engaging in one's respective continuous duty so when a man is asleep at night he forgets himself and what he is what his duty is and everything is of his waking state but as soon as he awakens from slumber he remembers all that he has to do and thus engages himself again in the prescribed activities so <clears throat> this is the this is the way uh, 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 the the creation annihilation annihilation creation is going on and uh, it's also confirmed in the bhagavad gita the lord existed before the creative energy was set in action lord is not a product of material energy his body is completely spiritual and there is no difference between his body and himself before creation the lord remained in the in his abode which is absolute and one so 
we we all know that krishna's body is different from our body so it is made up of sat chit and ananda so that is sat is eternality and chit is knowledge and then ananda is blissful nature even our body is uh, i mean even our soul is made up of these three things eh? but since we are covered in uh, in a, in a uh, in 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 maya so we cannot realize that uh, and then we are uh, uh, a, a, you know entangled in this uh, um, uh, materialistic activities that we have forgotten so uh, we have to uh, work against work work in that uh, direction and to revive our krishna consciousness as uh, chaitan mahaprabhu has said in the in the uh, shikshashtakam cheto darpana marjanam bhava maha davagni nirvapanam so just like uh, uh, this uh, this is like a mirror which is covered with the dust you know lot of uh, you know if if you are not uh, uh, cleaning the mirror you cannot see yourself it's it's like you know you, it's covered with a with a lot of dust and then nothing can be seen so if if you if you if you start wiping it and then you can start uh, seeing a little bit of your uh, image similarly our true self is hidden by this materialistic activities uh, in the in 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 maya so when we want to uh, revive our krishna consciousness by chanting the maha mantra hare, hare krishna maha mantra so we start cleansing actually the only thing what we need to do is uh, to sincerely attentively hear to the maha mantra so when we start he- sincerely and attentively hear the maha mantra so it automatically cleanses we don't have to do uh, i mean separately it it automatically since uh, krishna's names are pure it automatically cleans and then uh, it's it, we start realizing slowly by slowly slowly by slowly and uh, we start realizing who we are and also there is no uh, there is no loss in this you know as uh, krishna has said in the bhagavad gita neha birkama nashosti pratyavayana vidyate so alpam api asya dharmasya trayate mahato vaya so if if uh, if uh, we, we are not uh, we are not finishing this krishna consciousness in this uh, in this life we don't have to worry you know because we can start from the the place where we left it so uh, i think we have we have covered most of the things uh, just wanted to mention some other points actually uh, i was listening to a lecture from my guru maharaj jay uh, patak swam maharaj on this uh, on this was uh, he also said uh, that uh, once uh, hari krishna uh, prabhu ji we can't hear you hari krishna prabhu ji can you uh, point towards the mic because we can't hear you now mata ji yes yes now we can Oh, okay 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 so he explained that once uh, uh narada muni uh, went into uh, went to wanted to find out uh, who the best devotee was and uh, he first uh, went to uh, pralad maharaj saying that he must be the best devotee because he had seen lord arsimadev face to face then he said no 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 um, i am not the best devotee uh you go to the pandavas because pandavas are uh, serving krishna and then they are uh, so intimately related to krishna and then they are uh, uh, you know they are sitting with him they are uh, you know uh, joking with him and they are eating with him so they must be the the greatest devotees so then uh, uh, pandavas when he went to pandavas they were having a meeting and uh, they were uh, strategizing uh, you know uh, how how to uh i mean for the for the mahabharata war they were strategizing so then uh, he said you you i think pralad maharaj you sent sent me here uh because uh, he said that you are the greatest devotees so they said no 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 we are not the greatest devotees uh uh you must you must go to uh lord shiva lord shiva is the greatest devotee so then uh then lord shiva said no 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 i am not the greatest devotee uh 
you go to uh, you go to he said you go to brindavan you go to brindavan then brajavasis brajavasis are the greatest devotees so like this uh, uh, he was narrating the, the story of uh, narada muni who wanted to find out the greatest devotee so i just thought that i will mention this uh, past time yeah that, that's it mataji i think i can remember only these things if there are any questions or uh, comments please thank you very much prabhu ji for an excellent class today are there any questions or comments yes, Hare Krishna. Yes, uh, Hare Krishna. Prabhuji, you mentioned this annihilation and Mahavishnu, all these living entities get into the body of Mahavishnu at the end. So this Mahavishnu is actually in the causal ocean, isn't he? And he, that's in the material sky. Is that right? Uh no it's mahatattva prabhu so from the spiritual planet uh, there is quadruple expansion uh, first actually uh, from balaram comes uh, uh, pradyumna aniruddha uh, so like that there is quadruple ex expansion from that quadruple expansion uh, from sankarshana uh, mahavishnu comes so from mahavishnu then there is uh, garbodaksha vishnu from garbodaksha vishnu kshirodaksha vishnu so these are the three different vishnus uh, in the uh, mahatattva yeah but that's i understood that but the yes. mahatattva the mahavishnu which is yes. as you said garbod garbodaksha vishnu right that yes. garbodaksha vishnu is lying is lying in the causal ocean yes and breathing out and creating no, mahavishnu, the mahavishnu, mahavishnu, mahavishnu is breathing out breathing out and breathing in mahavishnu from mahavishnu pores like like the like the pores of skin uh, millions That's of universes right. are coming yes yes right but the mahavishnu himself is lying in the causal ocean i lying on the causal ocean correct uh not the causal ocean i think uh, is is uh, is from once the mahatattva is there see the mahatattva they, they, he is sleeping when he sleep he he is breathing in breathing out so actually cause yes. uh, garbodaka shai vishnu is uh, sleeping on the causal ocean yes but that causal ocean when the universe is, is created and then annihilated The, the 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 location the physical position of garbodaksha vishnu mahavishnu as you say is it in the spiritual sky or is it in the material so it's, sky it's material it? it's material it's material world so mahavishnu is actually existing in the material world and then is creating and annihilating the universes right true 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 right so then the question is a continuation in the meantime in the spiritual sky where krishna original krishna exists and is there and then there you have with krishna those people who went back to godhead during the time when the universe was existing the planets were existing and they are there in the spiritual sky with krishna in the golok vrindavan presumably nothing happens there they are they remain as they are those who are back to god at or who are always remain in the spiritual sky garbodaksha vishnu who never were tempted to come back to the, come to the material world those guys will always be there in the spiritual sky so there is no disturbance there am i right that side is eternally going on in a normal way in the spiritual sky the devotee is there krishna's devotee is there uh and krishna himself there eh? the only disturbance or any thing that happens is this continuous cycle of creation and annihilation uh, am i interpreting it correctly but that cycle takes place in the material sky 
material universe. Yes, a material there are, ocean. Uh, what what we need to understand is there are nitya siddhas and nitya baddhas. So uh, yes. sorry, nitya muktas. So nitya muktas are eternally liberated, and uh, nitya baddhas are eternally bound. So you know nitya muktas are like uh, Prabhupada who came into the material world for a purpose, and then he does the leela of whatever was, uh, uh, I mean, whatever service was there, and then he goes back to the spiritual world. But we, as uh, bound souls, we wanted to enjoy material nature, and then we have come here to enjoy the material nature. And then we keep on, you know, transmigrating into different various species of life from, uh, you know, from an ant to Brahma, and then from Brahma to an ant, we keep on, unless there is a mercy from, from the Lord himself and then the devotees who come to uplift us and then take us back to home, back to Godhead. Otherwise, uh, this cycle of birth and death keeps on happening. This is eternally happening. It is yes. eternally yes. happening and it will eternally, eternally happen. So there are millions yes. and millions yes. of uh, jivas are there. So this creation annihilation will keep on happening. There is no end to this creation annihilation because there are millions and millions of, I mean, millions or trillions of jivas who are wanting to always enjoy the material nature. So that's why this creation annihilation keeps on happening. Yes. But so then in short, if I take you correctly, there, there is no disturbance in the spiritual sky. Those who are no, there no. are there. Continue no, no, carries no. on normal. Yeah, the, the, the spiritual world uh, has no has no influence of time because they, the time only is influenced here. There's no influence of time in the spiritual world. So uh, the, the, the past times of uh, the... Sorry, Prabhu? That life, that life carrying on as a normal then. That life carrying on yes, as yes. normal. Yeah, dif different uh, spiritual world. Like there is, there is uh, uh, Ayodhya Loka is there. There is uh, Dwaraka Loka is there. There is... Uh, uh, there is Goloka Vrindavan is there. There is Vaikuntha Loka is there. So, he, according to the, the 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 individual jiva's interest and then uh, uh, interest to serve Krishna, they are placed into different different spiritual world. Like if you want to serve Krishna in a in a passive way, you will you and then with awe and reverence you will go to Vaikuntha Lokas. If you want to serve like Hanuman. You will go, to, uh, or you want, if you want to serve R Lord Ram, you will go to Ayodhya Loka. So, like that, uh, there are different, uh, uh, for different rasas, there are different planet, I mean, spiritual planets, which are eternally there. And then uh, we have to remember that these are the three fourths of the creation. Material, material world is only the one fourth creation. Correct. That's right. Thank you, Prabhuji. Yes. I, I got it. I got it. Very nice explanation, Prabhuji. Thank you. And thank you. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Hare thank Krishna. you very much. Thank you very much, Rajni Prabhu, for that question. When you ask questions, we also learn a lot. So thank you for joining in and asking questions. Are there any other questions or comments? Uh, Prabhuji, I have a question, if I may. Oh, um, Peter Muli Prabhu, do you have a question? Okay, Mataji, you can go first. It's okay. No, 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 you go first. Kindly go first. This is a short question. Uh, yeah, yes. I'm just, uh, just wondering if uh, is there a possibility that one day there will be no need for the material sky, like all jivas will be back to God? <laughs> no, it is, uh, it is uh, mentioned in the scriptures that this, this will eternally go on. Because, uh, it, because, it, it, in, uh, individual souls are uh, individual, uh, individual, and then they have independent because we are minutely independent. Uh, this this uh, material world will keep on uh, happening. I know it's uh, it's it's, uh, it's an unfortunate thing that you know everyone everyone uh, will not be you know interested to go back. So there are even if you if you look around. There are many people in you know in in your in whatever walks of life we see. So they are uh, you know as Prabhupada has mentioned in the in the in the purport that this creation is uh, is set to uh, roll with the with the three gunas: sattva guna, 
Rajoguna and Tamoguna. So goodness, passion, and ignorance. If you multiply three by three is nine, and if you multiply nine by nine is eighty-one. So these are eighty-eight eight million four hundred thousand species. So eight million four hundred thousand combinations of desires. That just like uh, Satoguna, uh, Rajoguna, and Tamoguna. These are mixed, let's say 1%, 2%. This is a permutation combination of Satvaguna, Rajoguna, and Tamaguna. So these are 3 by 3, 9, 9 by 9, 81. So, so if, if you get 81, that is, this is 8,400,000 species of uh, dif different desires. Actually, Prabhupada explains uh, these are 8,400,000 species of different desires. So this many number of desires are there. So uh, Prabhupada uh, one time explains that uh, if some people you can see they are surfing in the in the in the in the sea, and then they are enjoying the surfing so much, and they are almost every day going to the sea and then going to the beach and then enjoying. So uh, Prabhupada once said that why why artificially becoming fish? Krishna will give you a body of fish. You can nicely surf in the in the in the in the ocean without any problem because. Uh, to surf as a human being, you need you need accessories. But to surf as a fish, you don't need accessories, and you can fish. Uh, I mean, you can surf uh, naturally. So, like this, this this will go on, Prabhu. And, and I mean, it's this is this is the truth. Hare Krishna. Thank you, Prabhu. I had mathematics, but yeah, I pray for the best. Very good. Thank you. Yes, yes. Thank you, Hare Krishna. Thank you very much, Peter Muli Prabhu, for asking that question. Any other questions or comments from the group? Hare Krishna, Mataji. Hare Krishna, Prabhuji. I, I joined a bit late. My sincere apologies for it. Um, the initial part of the puppet, uh, it says two type of uh, uh, annihilation that takes place, right, Prabhu? So isn't it three? Um, like once when Brahma goes to sleep and once his lifetime ends, and in between, when it is half of his lifetime, an annihilation happens. Is it correct or is it uh, is it not that way? Hare Krishna. Mm. Yes, Mataji, thank you. There are, uh, you know, um, manmantaras and there is uh, uh, different manmantaras have, I think, uh, the different annihilations. It is it is explained in the further, uh, you know, uh, cantos of uh, how, how it is creation is happening, how is uh, annihilation happening. But uh, you know, Prabhupada has uh, classified here, uh, you know, as uh, two types of major annihilations. Actually, there are, uh, uh, I think, um, as you're right, uh, there are other annihilations also, where uh, um, up to up to certain lokas are inundated, and then there are up to uh, certain lokas are not annihilated. You're right, Mataji. Okay, Prabhupada. Thank you so much for the clarification. Hare Krishna. Yes. Hare Krishna, any more questions or comments? Okay, uh, Prabhuji, I just wanted to mention this about the sleeping and waking up. As we sleep, we forget everything. When we wake up, we carry on with whatever uh, we do every day uh, or what we are supposed to do. And similarly, uh, when there is annihilation, um, we all, um, if we have not gone to Golok Vrindavan, we all uh, merge into the body of Mahavishnu and that is still in the material world isn't it Prabhu yes 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 so that is, it is, it is still material world so it is just uh, just like uh, uh, incubation you can say hibernation you got into hibernation and then because uh, this material creation annihilation has got a certificate I mean certain cycle certain cycle to happen just like day and night is happening this annihilation and creation has a certain cycle. So it's like when Mahavishnu is breathing, it's coming out. And that's just like when we are breathing, uh, you know, we are also taking some time to breathe in and breathe out. It's like that, uh, you know, he, when he's breathing out, you know, all the material universes are going out. And then when he's breathing in, it's, they're all going in. So his, his breath is, uh, you know, so many uh, universes, not, not only Brahma, so many universes are going in. When he's breathing in, when he's breathing out, so many universes are coming out. So in one of uh, the songs of Vaishnava Acharyas in, in uh, Karnataka, back in, I mean, back in India, it is said that 
Vishnu can measure us in one breath. <laughs> so, so our existence is not even, I mean, not even ours, you know, Brahma's, even Brahma's, uh, you know, lifespan is not even equal to one, one breath of Lord Vishnu. <laughs> so that's how insignific uh, insignificant uh, Br Lord Brahma is. So wh what to speak of us. Yes, Prabhu, thank you very much for putting that into perspective. For those of us who are very full of ourselves, I think we are shown our positions today. So <laughs> thank, you. thank you very much. Yes, Raji Prabhu, can you then ask oh, just a, Thank you, Mataji. Uh, Prabhuji, um, when this annihilation takes place and Jiva Tattvas go back into Mahavishnu's body, um, these Jiva Tattvas, obviously, I'm just trying to imagine them in a situation not virtually similar to when the physical body dies and the Jiva Tattva, the, the Jiva Atma leaves the body, but Paramatma is also accompanying the Jivatma when the body dies. So when now we take it stage further as a sort of uh, competitive situation, not too dissimilar, I imagine that when G and Brahma goes to sleep or rather Brahma, uh, when annihilation takes place and the Jiva Tattvas merge or go into the body of Mahavishnu, does the Paramatma who resides who come, who always accompanies the Jivatma. Does the Paramatma also join the Jivatma when these Jivas go into Mahavishnu's body? Uh, thank you, Prabhuji. Uh, I'm not so sure about the answer. I have to have to check with someone and then come back to you. But you see, Paramatma feature is there uh, when when uh, Garbhodaka Shai Vishnu uh, enters and creates the universe and then Kshirodaka uh, Shai Vishnu enters in each atom, uh, each, each and every body as a, as a super soul. I think this is uh, a special feature of the, this uh, creation and annihilation. But when we are, we are merging into the, the body of uh, the Mahavishnu, I'm not so sure, Prabhuji, but I, I have to check. Thank you, Prabhu. Hare Krishna. Yes. Hare Krishna, my speculation would be because Shirotaksha Vishnu is spiritual. It will be in the spiritual body while it will not be in the material uh, realm. But obviously, I don't know the answer, but this is just my thinking. But anyway, if we are going into the body of Mahavishnu, that's again, his body is spiritual. His body is not material. So obviously, we are going into a spiritual uh, place. But still, we are not ready to accept him as, as supreme. So that's why we are kept in hibernation, just like hibernating. And then when it is ready to come out, we come out and then we join the, the birth and death uh, drama. So we, we, we become a part of the birth and death drama and then we play our roles and then go back. So it's just like, uh, you know, it's a game going on. <laughs> Yes, Okay, thank you very much, Prabhuji. We have exhausted our time uh, and we have with us uh, Pat Prabhu. Pat Prabhu, is it possible for you to end the session for us and thank Prabhuji for this excellent class? Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Uh, yes, yes, Hare Krishna. Yeah, thank you very much, Prabhuji, for your nice class. There is a two, three things that are there. I'm just hearing. Uh, like Mataji asking about the partly inhalation and completely inhalation, that is right. When Brahma, after 12 hours, like he, he going to sleep in night time, it is partly inhalation. It is going on. Every day of Brahma, 12 hours is working like it's daytime. Then when this night will come, Brahma will go to sleep, that is partly inhalation. And when Brahma completed his 100 years, in like that years, not in here, it is 1000 Chaturjuk like that. That is completely inhalation and all the Brahman is supposed to be go to rest. They are like you are told the Mahavishnu. That is also doubt, Prabhuji, you are this question. They, all the 
a cosmic world, all the universe is going and taking a rest on Mahatattva. And it is in a material world. So if there is a material world, also that one, um, uh, also inhalation in the time of the inhalation, it is also destroyed. Because all the cosmic world, all the material world is supposed to be destroyed. So if that is right, then how the Mahavishnu is in the material world, then how he is supposed to be escaped from that? That is also one doubt. But the thing is that all the things, like all the particles, Jibatattva, all the trees, the small elements, they are resting like the Mahatattva, like the seed of everything. All our desires, everything, like you are telling, when the inhalation will again, uh, sorry, creation will again start, that that process will come. Then we will coming out again with the, our the last desires. Then like you are telling, we are doing our part, or we are doing our rules, according our desire of the last birth. That is the thing. And also Rajin Prabhu asking that question, that time when we are creating, that time in Atma, the Paramatma will come. Paramatma will come. Otherwise, when we are left our body and even some devotee who is highly elevated and went to the Golak Vrindavan and the associate of a Krishna, there is also no Paramatma because Paramatma is only Krishna. In Golak Vrindavan also, everybody is Atma, but Paramatma is only one. That time also there is no Atma and Paramatma in your heart. In the same time, when we are resting as in Mahatattva form, that time also only soul is there, desires are there. There is no Paramatma. When the creation will start, we are getting a body, certain body, whatever we have body, then Paramatma will come with us. I think we will check our seniors also, but this is my reading and Correct. understanding. Hope it will okay. be. Okay, okay. Thank, thank, thank you very much, Prabhupada. Yes, nice class. Also, thanks all the devotee who are joining here. I request all the devotees, please unmute yourself and chant Hare Krishna Mantra for the glorification of His grace. Hare Govind Prabhuji, please join. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hansa Kalpa, Tarubya Sya, Kripa Sindhu Gaya Sya, Padjitana Bhavane Pyo, Vaishnava Pyo, Nama Nama, Prabhupada Ki Jai, his grace Arya Govinda Prabhu ki thank you Mataji Hare Krishna thank you Prabhuji for wonderful class thank you Prabhuji Hare Krishna Hare Krishna